Good morning. Welcome to my day. This is the routine every morning and I think it's the routine of an awful lot of gardeners at this time of year. It is hardening off time. So let's get going because there's lots to come out. <music> Today is going to be squash day. I've got a lot of squash, more than just these, another tree as well. Far too many, yeah. Um, now, the plan is that I'm going to put quite a few of them out of the back of the allotment into the secret garden. If you saw that video, I prepared little areas where I put down cardboard and uh, wood chips um, to prep for planting. Um, it's a little area that we're trying to cultivate of no man's land out the back of the allotment just to increase our growing space. So I want to sort these out and decide what I'm going to do. My plan is I've got several varieties going on. I've got um, three bigger varieties and then I think three smaller ones as well. And I'll, my plan is to put the bigger varieties out the back because in theory, the plants are bigger. I assume if you have a bigger squash, the plant itself gets more rambling. So they'll have more space out there and the smaller squash I'll take up to the allotment later on and plant some of those out there. Uh, I've got Anna Schwartz squash which I grew last year. That was a, a lovely big dark green variety with dark orange flesh, very nice. I've got Boston squash, Victor squash. I tried them last year, weren't very successful. But I'm gonna give them another go. I've also got Uchigikuri, I've got Munchkin and I've got acorn squash. So the, it's the bigger ones I'm gonna pot on today. Normally I wouldn't pot on at this stage with these are quite decent sized um, little modules and I would normally just put them straight into the ground. However, because they're going out into the secret garden, the soil there isn't very good because we haven't cultivated it. Um, so I want them to have a good, a good basis, you know, a, a good root ball of uh, decent soil before I put them in the ground. So I'm going to put off planting them out until they've grown a nice root ball in there. I think I need about nine. I think that's, I think that's how many areas I got ready for them. Anna Schwartz squash. I wish I'd done more. I don't know why I only did three. It's by far and away the best squash I've done. Anyway, I'm going to bury them nice and deep, firm them down. And these are fully hardened off, well, they will be after they've been out tonight. And uh, as I say, in a couple of weeks, these will go into the ground once they're established into these pots. So there are nine nice squash potted on. I'm going to give them a little drink of water and then we're going to head up to the allotment and get some into the ground as well. Just thought I'd show you this. This is our little broody hen, Dorothy. She's a, cross, a crested rock hen. Um, it's the first broody hen we've ever had. Um, so we're taking a bit off guard by it. She just sits there all the time. She's been there for about a week. So every now and again, a couple of times a day, we um, toss her off the nest to go and get something to eat, which is not very happy about it when you do that. And she hoards all the other hens' eggs underneath them. We we'll have to keep getting them out. You, Matilda, get in. Ah, see, she pecked us there. Don't peck me, that wasn't very nice, Dorothy. What a fabulous mother she is. So ready to defend the not eggs that she hasn't got. <laughs> Or the unfertile eggs that are there. 
Get in, get in. They're all coming to see. You, get in. <laughs> right, I'm shutting it up. Get in. Well, I've brought these squash up to plant out, but the border that I've got planned for them, I realise I've got rather more work than I anticipated. I thought the border was clear somehow, but it's an absolute mess. So let's go and have a look at that. So, as you see, certainly not cleared and prepped, is it? I've got a perennial, a couple of plants there, some chives and sorrel, which I want to leave in. And I want to leave in these um, foxgloves as well. Uh, I guess I'll just clear most of the rest and plant around them. A bit more work than I was anticipating though. That didn't take too long everything just pulled out easily now i do leave a lot of flowers and other things well flowers in my borders probably more than i should however my instincts just tell me that uh, having flowers and having a mix of plants in a border is just better somehow um, maybe i'll get less of a crop because of the competition there but i don't know it just seems right to me to have a mix of things. So what I've got in here is I've got some little self, all of this stuff is self-seeded. Um, some self-seeded marigolds in the corner there. Um, I've got some borage again self-seeded. I've got this lovely red spinach or ash that self-seeds. I've got some antirhinums, I think. A poppy foxgloves. I'm just gonna, I've pulled out most of them. Um, but I'm gonna leave those in and that'll do. I've put compost on here um, previously in a little heap, so it's really ready now. Right, these are the squash that I've got to go in. They're lovely and healthy. Hardened off completely. This is gonna be their first full night outside, but um, normally I would keep them in the back garden for that. But you know, it's a lovely day to day. It's very still. It's warm, but there's no glaring sunshine. Um, so I think it's nice, a nice gentle day to be planting them out overnight. I've got two varieties. I've got Uchigikuri and I've got Munchkin squash. These were both grown from seed that I saved from squash that I got at the supermarket. I think I picked them up from Aldi or Lidl uh, in, at Halloween when they do all the lovely little mixed squashes for decoration. Um, and they've come up lovely so i've got well three six nine twelve fifteen i'm not going to get 15 in um i'll have to try and figure out what i'm going to do how many to put in and where to put the rest that's the big problem the point is these are actually all um small squashes they're not going to get the big pumpkin size you know the uchigikuri 
we'll get to that if you're lucky munchkin squash i've never grown before but i believe it's just a tiny little one like that so yeah uh, my hope is with growing these actually in a bed in the allotment is the plant will be a little bit of a smaller plant i might be wrong about that but i'm thinking with the uh, squash itself being a smaller squash the plant might be smaller to keep them a bit contained so because of my um rubbish labeling as usual i didn't know which was which but what i figured out is i've actually just got one little row of the munchkin squash and they're very small plants compared with the uchikikuri um hopefully that means confirms what i'm thinking that the mature plant will be smaller too and it's going to take up less space right i've decided i'm just going to plant three of these munchkin across the front of this border um and leave it at that for the munchkin squash I'm just going to kind of plant these about a metre apart and hope for the best. Right, I'm going to try a little experiment. I've only got three left. I feel so ashamed. <laughs> I've put 12 in that border. I know it's too much. I just can't seem to stop myself. Anyway, it always works out. I've got three left and I'm going to try an experiment. I've got these three buckets. I can grow squash in buckets. I've done it before. However, what I'm, I haven't got at the allotment today is a bag of compost. So what I've done is I've got a bag of um, semi decomposed wood chips and I've also dug into the compost heap which isn't properly decomposed and I've just put them into this bucket and I'm going to give them a mix I'm going to plant a squash in each um, and wish me luck basically <laughs> see you next time bye